Professor Akram here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to set up your 3ds Max project for creating models that will be exported to the Unity game engine. To get started, we're going to first set up our Max project. So with 3ds Max already opened up, I'm going to go ahead and go over to File and Project. If you've already got a project folder set up, you could set the active project. In my case, we are starting a brand new project. So I'm going to create a default project. In the dialog box, you're going to locate where you want your project saved. I'm just going to be saving to the desktop. But I do want to create a project folder. And since I haven't already set one up, I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to do new folder. And in here, I'm going to type Sweeties Adventure ADV Max. And this identifies the project as our Sweetie Adventure game, and these are the Max files for our project. So I'm going to select that folder and choose Select Folder. Now that our project folder has been set up, before we start modeling, there is one other setting that we need to set up to ensure that our models come into Unity in the correct unit of measurement. Now to do this, we need to change the unit setup for 3ds Max. We're going to go up to Customize and Unit Setup. This is going to bring up our unit setup dialog. By default, Max uses generic units. And this just means that one is one, two is two. They're not equivalent to anything. You're modeling based off scale and proportion. And for artistic renderings and animations, this is absolutely fine. However, there are times where you would want a more standardized unit of measurement. For example, if we were creating an architectural rendering, we may want to use a U.S. standard unit of measurement, which uses feet and inches. This would give our rendering a more accurate representation of the buildings and construction. In our case, we are creating models to be used in the Unity game engine, and Unity works on a metric unit corresponding to meters. So we want to make sure to set our display units to metric and meters. Now remember, these are the display units. This is simply how the units are going to be measured in the viewports and any of the corresponding property dialogs. To actually ensure that our units get exported as meters when we move to Unity, we need to set up the system units here. As you can see, this will tell Max what one unit needs to be exported as. So here we have one unit is equal to one, and we can choose whatever measurement we want. In our case, again, we're going to use meters because that is the default unit of measurement inside of Unity. So I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to press OK here. And now our project is set up and ready for us to model our assets to be exported to Unity. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And don't forget to check out our other tutorials on the channel. What are you waiting for? Get creative today!